Get out of the kitchen and dust off your grill for a dinner right in your own backyard. Yeah, Chef Matt Quist, one of our favorites. He's from the Alaska Eater and Glacier Bar in St. Louis Park. He joins us with a fishy dish. <laughs> and so we welcome him back to TV. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Thanks for having me. Today oh. we're cooking Alaskan halibut. Uh, yeah, you know, I got a friend of mine who goes to Alaska on occasion, and he always comes back with halibut. And he says, try this, and uh, I'm just afraid to. I don't know why. Really? Here's yeah, a but question, I hear nothing though. but great things about halibut. What's the difference between halibut and Alaska yeah. halibut? Well, the best halibut in the world comes from Alaska. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what it is. is there's, there's halibut from all different parts of the world, but right now is halibut season in Alaska. So it's oh. never fresher or better than it is right now. Mm -hmm. okay. It just started about three weeks ago. What do you need for so yours? So literally we got eight ounces of halibut here. It's cooking on the grill or my little grill pan you can use in the winter inside. You're a big fan of that. I, I love the grill pan. Mm -hmm. In the winter, I mean, I can do fish here. I can do vegetables. I if can you bread. had your choice. Yeah. Would you, would you go out on a regular grill outside, or would you still use this? Well, I'll stand in the backyard with an adult beverage. and uh, <laughs> Absolutely. Like, well, your wife mows the lawn, I think, for <laughs> the last time. Maybe. Yeah. Absolutely. With the hat on? <laughs> exactly. All right, good. So, yeah, all the neighbors in the backyard, I mean, really, there's nothing better than, you know. That's true. We're all cooking on the grill. And I, and I prefer, obviously, charcoal grill. As okay. Well. That's why I use it at home. If you have eight ounces like this, how long on each side? Three to four minutes. Great. So that's cooking. We're going to have asparagus going at the same time. Get John with that, going on that yeah. one? All you do is you'll see where the ends, they naturally break. You mm -hmm. just take them off right there. Yep. This is such a cool Cool trick. It is really simple. And then we're going to toss them with a little olive oil and salt and pepper, and we're going to put the asparagus in the pan as well. Oh, and that's it. There's not a lot of uh, different ingredients you need for no, this, really. This is a really, really simple dish. Everything I like to do, and especially at home, is like less than 10 ingredients. Just because it's not too much to buy, it's super simple and fresh tasting. Okay. And so you don't need all those good. fancy nope, ingredients. No, perfect. And then we'll uh, put a little olive oil in here. A little salt and pepper. No, I think you just use fresh ingredients and present them simply. And right. I think that's the best. Speaking of that, for halibut, uh, you say it's in season right now. Where do you think around here is a great spot to pick up your halibut? I think Lunds or Coastal Seafoods okay. are my top two. And I oh. want to say that I am a huge fan of Coastal Seafoods. Oh, yeah. I, and I, am, I just recently, they just kind of walk you through the process. So if you don't know it, it Where's was right at? on Grand Avenue. Grand Avenue where I go. There's a couple of them, yep, right? There is two or three locations. Okay. Absolutely. Coastal Seafoods I love. Mm -hmm. And then now we're going to make a sauce for the fish. Okay. And this sauce actually works well with salmon, halibut, chicken. It works great with all Ooh, fish. Okay. And so we have roasted red bell peppers here. In the biggest blender I've ever seen in my life. This, this is huge. This is a big blender. So these are roasted red bell peppers. And I roast them on our grill and then peel them. For how long would it, does it take to get them? So they're really, out? really crusty and black, and, and just the skin will start to fall off of the, the pepper. Okay. And then I put it in a bowl and cover it in saran wrap, and it'll steam. And then after it steams, take off the saran wrap, and you can peel the skin right off. Oh, that's And then same with the pepper. Look at you. You know what to do. Just like being a... Oh, nice work. <laughs> nice work. She's proud of himself. Look at right that. There. Nice work. Yeah. I've done that before. A little yellow onion. Okay. And these are garlic cloves that are roasted as well. About and, three? Uh, yep, three mm -hmm. garlic cloves. And then we can pick some basil. This is Thai basil. Oh, this smells so good. Yeah, I love Thai basil. Oh. We'll pick some of that and put that in there. Okay, what's the difference between basil and Thai basil? Uh, <laughs> it's from Thailand, obviously, and it's see it's a narrower, skinnier leaf. Oh, okay. It just has a little bit, little bit different flavor, actually, a little more floral. Got it. I, I didn't say. know that all of these places had... You know, the certain mm -hmm. areas you wanted to get them from. Absolutely. Okay. So there's Thai basil. So we got all our ingredients in our blender. Then we're going to put the top on. That's it. That's it. And then we're going to turn this on. But let's take off our cap. Okay. I'll let you do it. I think you know your blender better than I do. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe not. <Yes. laughs> How's that going? That halibut is looking <laughs> wonderful. Okay. <laughs> and then high? Absolutely. Let's turn it on high. Okay. And then we go like this. We don't get way dirty. And the liquid that the liquid we're adding is uh, olive oil, yeah. lemon juice, chicken stock, and a little balsamic vinegar. It smells awesome. It's really, really good. It's really good. Is that good? Perfect. It's perfect. See, you know how most men with big engines, they rev it up? I yeah. like that with the blender. <laughs> you have to be. Absolutely. Fun. I got a question for you about a yes. serious uh, griller or, or somebody wants to. Mm -hmm. hey, this, is, this is kind of a unique tool. It's like an angled deal. You... you you love this thing. I really do love that. It's a fish spatula. And fish it's just spatula? meant for fish. And you can buy it at Cooks or Crocusil or Kitchen Window, but the fish spatula is key. Because when you flip the fish like that, and I know you got skills because I could tell, I <laughs> but if you use a different spatula, it'd be very easy to bruise the fish or have it fall apart. Oh, okay. you don't so the, fish, the fish. fish spatula is key. Think okay. ready? Uh, it looks great to me. Okay. Absolutely. So we're going to put that on the plate. Okay. You know, look at this. Well, you know, I've got my spatula. I can see this. We've got grilled asparagus here. <laughs> Do you need me over at Alaska Eatery? Maybe. Maybe. Bar in St. Louis Park? Can Maybe. Oh, that gonna, smells so good. It's the roasted red pepper. We've got a party of 15 in about 30 minutes. I think, oh. uh, <laughs> I think we're going to have a visiting chef tonight.
Oh, it does smell good. Like, so this smell this good? red pepper coulis, like I said, great with chicken. I would recommend couscous with this. Ooh, I love couscous really and like some pepper sauce. Okay, okay so I'm ready to like try that. it. You Look ready? at that. Just perfectly you done, you guys. Thank you. Oh, that's true. And you see the fish is perfectly cooked as well. It's slightly pink in the middle. Mm. Mm. I want to try a bite, too. Is halibut mm -hmm. your favorite? I love halibut. Oh, my gosh. That is to die for. And pink in the middle. That's good to know. See I that? It's just flaking. It's just falling right apart. That is, the flavors go together so mm. well together. Oh, my gosh. It's all you guys. You might be, no, offended. You might be offended by my comparison, my first taste. I had a chick taste again wow. because my first thought was, no, it's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. but, but I was thinking, like, kind of a bratwurst kind of taste. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm. There's something in there that I get in bratwurst, too. I love it. The smoke, <laughs> probably the smoke from the grill with all the char from the Could peppers and onions and everything else. That Could is so good. And this it is on the so menu at Alaska Eatery as well. So I mean, this is a real menu item. So please come in, and, and this is what I would order. Honestly, yeah. best fish I've ever had Thank you in so much. my life, and I eat Honestly, a lot of fish. Now I got three things that you made here, and all three I will order at the same time when I'm in there. <laughs> Sounds good, Matt. Thanks Thank a lot. Thanks, Thanks for having Thank me. You Thank you. Another winner. Thank you so much. Try Matt's recipe in your kitchen or on your grill this weekend. You can head to KSTP.com. Click on Twin Cities Live. We got the recipe there for you. Uh,